Hello and welcome to another clean and decorate with me. I was super excited this fall to be using my new, well not new, I got it last year, but it's Haunt, so it smells like the Haunted Mansion, um, Bose Signature Candle Company fragrance. So that kind of set the mood in the house to get ready with some fall decorating. And I filmed this a couple weeks ago, but I'm a little late <laughs> with the footage and getting it up. I started by taking out all of my fall decor, which has grown quite a bit over the years. And I didn't know how much of it I'd get up. I did pick up a few new things. This is a Ray Dunn, of course, uh, Halloween bowl. And then I got a couple cute little things at Michael's just for some smaller accents that I thought were cute. My mom gifted me this gorgeous uh, bouquet or arrangement for fall. And then I did pick up just uh, from the Target dollar spot. I think it was like $5 for this cute little pillow I couldn't say no to. So. As always, I feel like I'm always starting my fall decorating in the kitchen. There's not a lot, I mean, I do the tiered tray in there, but I don't have a lot of mugs or things I realized for fall. I actually went shopping for some at Home Goods, and there's just none that were calling to me. So I didn't get any mugs, but I did pick up these towels from Magnolia from Target. I know they're not really fall, they're just kind of plaid but i don't really have i used to have fall towels and i don't know where they've gone just got used up over the years did get my plaid napkins ready to go i love plaid and then pulled out everything for the tiered tray just so i knew what i was dealing with and again i didn't get anything new so my tiered tray probably looks pretty close to how it looked last year but i always like setting things out and kind of piecing them together here or there. You can see me like working with that black bird. I kept trying to find a home for this poor little black bird and I, I love him, but I've never found a home for him. But I love the way that this turned out. I think it is super cute. I've kind of enjoyed the blues in the kitchen because I feel it kind of, I don't know, it's like a neutral, it's not neutral, but pulls into our kitchen really well. And speaking of kitchen, of course I had to get the Myers apple cider hand soap. I love, 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 love how this smells. And I actually save it year to year, so <laughs> don't have to buy new. This year for, well, we had some outdoor decorations, but I did pick up a new rug. And then of course, put the wreath on the front door. This again is from my mother and I just love it. It's so gorgeous. We did some decorating downstairs. I was really excited because I feel like we don't use our basement since we've been in this house. Well, <laughs> we've only been in one year, but in the summer, we didn't use our basement hardly at all. I mean, we'd go through to sit outside, but with the fireplace, I just love how cozy it gets down here. I love having the different throw pillows to change out for fall, and then I will again for Christmas. We got this coffee table, which uh, it's not my favorite, but it was free on Facebook Marketplace. And we're just kind of waiting until we know exactly what we want to do for furniture. But I loved kind of getting a centerpiece. My mom had made this gorgeous doily. And um, of course, <laughs> this whole uh, arrangement is almost brought to you by my mom because I think most things were gifted from her. <laughs> it turned out really cute. Um, the pillows were of course, Target, I think I got one on Amazon, I'll link below, and then the orange ones I just picked up cheap at Ikea. So I think it turned out so well. It was late in the day, so I went the next morning to decorate the upstairs. We really only have the shelf, which I've toyed with getting rid of, but I decided to hang on to it at least through fall. Kind of looks cluttered in the spot, but I like to have a place upstairs to place some decor, and I don't really have much beyond this shelf. So um, just kind of worked in some different things. I tried to get that bigger sign up there on top but it kept falling off and I don't want it to fall off on somebody. It fell off on my head. So <laughs> I didn't want like a homeowner's insurance claim from somebody <laughs> getting hit with a sign, but I think it turned out cute. I was kind of running low on fall decor, but I had this little bushel basket underneath to kind of fill in the space. And then the sign's just gonna, just gonna set on the floor this year. Added a few other touches, but really I, again, this was my last piece of fall decor, this gorgeous centerpiece I got. Actually recently it was a centerpiece from my niece's wedding and she was kind enough to gift me one, or rather her mother was after the wedding. So <laughs> lucked out there. And then this is really all I had left, just a little bit of Halloween decor. So 
Maybe I'll have to pick up some more fall decor at the end of the season um, to really zhuzh things up next year. But I put up my few Halloween decorations on our front table and that is our quick video for fall and someone Halloween decorate with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe below if you haven't already and I will see you next time.